the uh, canoe trip was so smooth and easy. Uh, the weather today, the waters were a lot calmer than when my father went on that drizzly, misty day on June 13th, 1958. So we want to thank John Titchener for lending us his homemade boat. John is the first president of the Friends and the co-founder of the Friends, and the Jersey Journal reporter who came with us, Paul Kep, and my sister uh, were also there in the boat. Fifty years ago, my father paddled into history from Jersey City's junk-strewn waterfront wasteland of decaying piers and abandoned railroad yards to this great statue. As the plaque in the park's visitor center states, Morris Pesson's imagination, dedication, and perseverance were prime factors in making the dream of Liberty Park a reality. And today we celebrate the canoe ride that started it all. I want to give special thanks to the Jersey Journal editor, Gene Farrell, whom my father went to 50 years ago with a question of how to promote the idea of the park. My father once said that he was ready to do anything to dramatize the park idea except jump from the torch <laughs> into, an, into a net. Uh, Editor Farrell suggested the rowboat, but when my father got to the old pier, there was a reporter and a canoe waiting. My father called my mother, who was home from the business due to the drizzly weather, and asked if he should go in that rowboat. My mother um, remembers saying, well, Morris, have you paid your insurance? <laughs> and, and when he said he did, and since my dad was a good swimmer, uh, my mom said, you have the green light. As Audrey Zapp, the park's godmother, stated, my father's vision changed the whole concept of what the waterfront could and should be used for. The park was a gift to all who yearned to breathe free on public open space, and the park was the catalyst for the development of Jersey City's Gold Coast. As you all know, my father and Audrey Zapp, and after 1992, the Friends of Liberty Park led many grassroots coalitions that defeated destructive and arrogant plans of politically connected developers. What a list. Theme park, luxury condos, doll museum, 25,000 seat amphitheater, golf course, and water park. The basic inspiring history of Liberty Park is that citizens put democracy into action and fought for a green park behind the, a free and green park behind the Statue of Liberty. My father's dream of a green family park became a reality because of his determination and a Jersey City grassroots effort. My father was proud that Jersey City is the host city of the park, which is now one of America's and one of the world's most sacred public places. He saw the park's potential to provide a meaningful experience of our diverse democracy by its welcoming people of all cultural backgrounds to share the experience of relaxation and recreation. In the park's first summer, my father got such a thrill walking around the parking lots and looking at those license plates from many states. And in the days before he passed away in July 92, he knew in his hospital bed that tens of thousands of visitors came to Liberty Park to watch Op Sale that marked the 500th anniversary of Christopher Columbus's landing in America and starting centuries of European immigration. My dad was compassionate, energetic, and humble, he was dedicated to the ideals of America and the examples of his parents who landed nearby at Ellis Island. Morris Pesson was a man of action and wisdom. He was a true hero who fought for what is right with integrity and strength. He loved life and lived his life of, by, and for the people. His message is that your civic activism, your compassion, independent thinking, and volunteerism will make a difference in improving the world.